nose up, stir a cup, it'll put you in the pink. And all you have to do is drink, 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 drink. Continuing with my little trend for the month of October with Oktoberfest and fall beers, I'll have to continue it into the next uh, into next month, into November, because I haven't done too many. I've only done the one. I need to do more. I haven't been drinking because of uh, some stuff, you know, just... I doubt that they really show up on, like, you know, pre-employment drug testing or anything, but still, better safe than sorry. But anyway, today's beer I got myself from one of my favorite breweries out of uh, Maryland, actually. And one of the things I love about this particular brand is like their really uh, funky art that they have on there. It's always it's like a line drawing thing or very abstract. I mean, it's very, I love the artwork on the bottles. It's from Flying Dog. It is Dogtoberfest Marzan. And usually with a, with a bunch of these uh, Flying Dogs, they, can, they tend to be very hoppy. I mean, they're very on the border of, you know, kind of, well, to me at least, with an IPA. You know, and chances of happiness, but with this, I love the artwork. I love how he usually says, you know, he usually has some crazy drawing like that, like on all the other ones I've tried. And there's actually a uh, quote by Hunter S. Thompson on the side here that say, "Good people drink good beer," and I have to agree. There's also a little kind of a funny little saying on the side here that also says, "There's sauerkraut in my lederhosen." I repeat, "There's sauerkraut in my lederhosen." Just keeping with the whole Oktoberfest thing, so I'm just gonna crack this one open, see how it goes, and I believe my my uh, idea will be right. But the last uh, the last uh, flying dog I actually tried was a was their their blood orange ale, which was really good. It wasn't that hoppy, it wasn't that strong or anything, but I'm gonna guess this one's gonna be kind of on the same level or something. But we'll see. So enough yapping. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open and go for it. Oh man, just by the color, it's a very, uh, it's like a dark amber. I know I've called amber kind of like a, but it's like really like a reddish uh, color like this, an amber color when like an amber color is actually a, uh, you know, like a yellowish, but this one, like, I think I need to specify that it's like more like a dark red amber, like, I, I know what I mean, but the, uh, like the color is obviously a red, like a very reddish tint, so it's like a red, red one, it's a, uh, from the uh, coloring in there, and there's a almost like liquid caramel in a way. Okay, yeah, I was uh, I was right about that. It's very, it's not that strong with the aromas usually with the uh, flying dog ones. I find very hoppy, but this one is not that bad actually. Kind of smells like a traditional uh, German beer, which uh, I like so. I don't really smell too many of the, of the uh, original aromas or anything, but let's just keep it going. And they're not that much carbonation either, again, the initial pour either. Okay, yeah, not, not that bad. Not that bad with the aroma, like I'm not really smelling too many of the other aromas. Like I think it's more traditional brewing on this one, but let's just try it out. Very smooth so far on the first sip. It's not that strong. It's a it's a it's a slight hit at the very end of the uh, sip, but it's very like I'm not I'm not tasting any of the uh, like I'm not too sure what else is in 
in here, like there's not too much, like it actually says so in there, but usually like a lot of beers actually say like what, what's actually in there, but this one is very consist consistent to an ale. It's, like, it's actually surprising because like I said, it was, I was going to say it was going to be very hoppy, but this one was not hoppy at all. And by the, it's just a look and the color of it, it's just a look at your standard ale. Not bad though. Not a favorite though. Like I was expecting just a little bit more from, from Flying Dog, but unfortunately I'll have to give this one probably a seven because I was expecting a lot more from it, but it was kind of a disappointment. But at the same time, I find it very enjoy enjoyable. Like it's a very nice, crisp, clean beer. You know, you can obviously see right through it. Yeah, definitely could see right through it. Like uh, that's one thing that you can actually like tell with a clip with a clean beer. You can actually just look through it, and like that's how you can actually tell. Like that for Sam Adams, like I went to the Sam Adams Brewery a couple years ago, and that's what they usually say. If you could just like put two fingers behind there and actually see see right through it, then you can. That's a nice nice clean beer. But that yeah, it's a clean beer. Kind of not that not all that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but still giving it, giving it a seven. But anyway, yeah, it's a nice beer, nice to sipping beer. I think if like you're, you have like some friends over and stuff, but it's not one that you really like want to get. Yeah, kind of a disappointment, but whatever. It's still Flying Dog, and I do like their beers to begin with, but just not cutting it for me right now. And with that, I gotta give the uh, toast of the uh, review. I gotta give this one out to my friend Mike. He's uh, been a friend of mine since high school. My second year of high school, I didn't really know too many people in like my first year of high school, but he was one of my first uh, good friends from high school that I actually still hang out with, so, you know, and they, I'm able to hang out with him. So, Mike, this one's for you. Thanks and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. I mean, I got some more, uh, more Oktoberfest to uh, round up the month of October. I got a couple of their pumpkin ones, and since it's still, technically it's still fall season, I'm going to be doing that within all the other, you know, throughout November. So stay tuned, I got more coming, so uh, enjoy some good beer, and uh, enjoy it. So have until next time, like, favor, subscribe, all that jazz, and until next time, and including thumbs up for the kitty, so definitely thumbs up for the kitty. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Oh, she wrote a big devil for the daylight shine There's a thought champagne